Hi everyone, welcome to Lore Painting, a brand new channel where you will hear stories and lore behind miniatures being painted by none other than me. Grab something to bite, something to drink and enjoy. However, as this is my first entry here, word of introduction. As I mentioned before, this channel will mainly be about lore and I do hope that somehow I will manage to encourage you to dive into this fantastic world of miniatures with stories I bring to you but I have plans for exploring other directions of this fantastic hobby as well. What kind of directions? That, my guests, is a secret for now. For this video I chose the Tomb Lords team from fantasy football game Blood Bowl. This pick was rather occasional as I came up with the idea as I was finishing a commission painting. That is why miniatures you see in this video are not being painted from the scratch. I mention this because to be honest, through my dangerous and long journeys in order to unveil the mysteries of this team, I did not found as many information as I would like to. I began my search by visiting the archives of Nafl Amorical Football, which is the governing body of Blood Bowl. For those of you that are not familiar with American football at all, we have organization called NFL, National Football League, and NAF is its equivalent in this fantasy setting. This organization made Blood Bowl what it is today. Before it came to existence, there was no official set of rules and because of that, teams playing matches often could not come to conclusion which set of rules to follow. Once such quarrel almost developed into full-scale war, fortunately NAF appeared and through years of negotiations proper rules were created and the war has been avoided. As you can see this sport creates a lot of strong emotions. Before I get back on track with Doomlords, it is worth mentioning that eventually even NAF collapsed and today's Blood Bowl tournaments are held by Bloodvisor and Association of Broadcasting Conjurers. Back to Doom Lords. Through NAF archives I learned that this team started its journey in NAF AFC North Division and its owner is known as the Overfiend of the Leeds Citadel. What is also known is fact that this being is a truly wealthy one as there is no cost high enough for him in order to make his team great. Overfiend paid a tremendous amount of money in order to hire current head coach of the team, Harry the Idolator. His experience and understanding of the game is rarely matched. Team also has best possible equipment, facilities and supply network. From official records we can also learn about team colors, logo and lineup. Team's lineup consists of 4 chaos chosen, 8 beastmen and a minotaur. 
As I will elaborate on Tim's lineup a little later, the Tumblers are wearing red and black and their logo are flames rising from bottom of shoulder pads, helmets and sometimes gauntlets. That is what the official record says. What meets the eye is one crucial thing. As NAF collapsed, a lot of really entitled teams had to disband or has been sold and their franchises closed. The Dunglers, however, were not the case. I wanted to know more and in order to do so, there was only one thing to do, travel to far north to Norska, particularly Albion Island where the citadel of Lid stands. Now things will get a little more mystical, strange, maybe scary. I have not mentioned that the Doomlords team consists solely of worshippers of so-called Chaos Gods, ancient powers that are embodiment of fears, dreams and desires of mortal men. It is known that there are four major forces that are in constant struggle with each other, but the tale about them is for another time. For the moment I will shift my focus from the Doom Lords again, this time to the Overfiend, but hear me out, as it all connects. You see, what you have to be aware for now is that there are rumors. Rumors that those four powers imprisoned powerful demon in this lit citadel. As Norska is home to murder tribes who worship Chaos, I tried to gather more stories or tales about this being, as I suspect this demon may be the Overfiend. However, people of Norska are not very hospitable and do not share their knowledge easily. What I managed to learn is this. The Overfiend's riches, gifts and favors, thanks to which the Doom Lords exist, are the outcome of numerous pacts he dealt with Chaos Gods. This gave me some insight on the team, but the identity of the Overfiend remains a mystery. Another mystery that I wanted to discover were training methods of the team. Unfortunately, no success on this field. I managed, however, to learn a little bit of recruiting process for the team. The Overfiend looks only for those most talented in Norska tribes and offers them place in the team. It is considered an honor among those tribes as they believe that Chaos Gods themselves, acting through the Overfiend, chose those worthy. They are bestowed many dark gifts from Rhinos powers and are called the Chaos 
chosen. Thanks to those unholy enhancements, they are much more capable physically than normal mortals. There were, however, incidents when those chosen for the team refused the overfeed. Fate of those individuals is unknown, but as a refusal is not an option for the overfeed, we can all imagine what happened to them. Speaking of Chosen brings us also the topic of the team's lineup. Chaos Chosen form first line of the Doom Lords, and their goal on the field is to stop adversaries' team advance by any means necessary, even if that means death of player of an enemy team. Blood Bowl is a noble game but also a very brutal one, and fair place is not something to be considered. Among its ranks, the Doom Lords team also has so-called Beastmen, creations of Chaos itself. It is said that those creatures are descendants of ancient humans who were corrupted by Chaos when it came to this world. Those mutated humanoids are very proud of their origin. Their appearance is truly bestial, cloven hooves, horn heads, muscular human bodies, but their intelligence is very primitive. In the Doom Lords team they hold position of runner, their goal on a field is to score points for the team and they are just natural for that, as thanks to their anatomy, Beastmen are incredibly fast and strong. Lastly, there is this different kind of beastman that the team sometimes feels. It is much bigger, much stronger, but also more stupid. The Minotaur. This towering figure has one purpose on a pitch, a total destruction of enemy team, and it is very good at it. However, sometimes in bursts of rage it can turn against its own team members, so fielding it, it's kind of a double-edged sword. That is all I managed to gather, referring to the Doom Lords team, and while this team may seem fearsome, that is not entirely reflected on their official record. You see, they won just three cups, Orchidas Cup, Chaos Cup and Thimble Cup. And Thimble Cup, where they played against 15 halfling teams. Considering the Doom Lords roster, it is not very imposing. It seems that the favor of Chaos Gods is truly fickle with this team, but who knows what future brings for them. That, my friends, we shall see.
Well, that will be all for the Doom Lords team. But coming to an end of this entry, I'd like to point out a few things as I believe I owe it to you. Chaos Chosen, Beastman and Minotaur lore has been deliberately narrowed down by me. Similarly, the lore of Chaos, Chaos Gods, etc. There is good reason for that as those topics will be addressed in other entries, as each deserves at least a few episodes. Doomlord's team is completely painted up, what you can see. I'd like to thank you for watching this video till very end. I really do hope you enjoyed this short trip into the world of Blood Bowl. If you did, please let me know in comments below, maybe leave a like or subscribe to this channel and help me grow. Much appreciated. For now, I bid you very fond goodbye and see you soon on next journey. And oh boy, what a journey it will be.